Hello and welcome everyone to this week's BFG review. As always, I want to thank anyone who's watched my previous videos and to remind everyone to please like and comment and share because it really does help grow the channel. Also, with me today is my great, amazing girlfriend, Katie. Hello. Okay, she saw the film with me and she's going to help us review it today. So, with that out of the way, on to this week's film, which is... Charlie's Angels. Directed by Elizabeth Banks and starring Kristen Stewart, Naomi Scott, Ella Belinska, Patrick Stewart, Jamon Honsu, Jonathan Tucker, and Elizabeth Banks again. This film follows a young systems engineer as she blows the whistle on a dangerous technology. The Charlie's Angels are called into action, putting their lives on the line to protect the engineer and the world. So, what do you think of this movie? Uh, I have a lot of feelings about it, and I kind of want to get your take on it first. Um, I thought it was a fun watch at times, but a very bad movie in general. I would have to agree with most of that. There is a couple of good things I liked about this movie, but overall it just wasn't that great. The story wasn't that put together, it was overly complicated and a little convoluted. I, I don't know, what else did you think? They have this one thing that I really hated, which was every man, but probably two, are horrible people. And I love feminist movies and good feminist themed plots, but you can do that in a way where you don't also make men complete garbage. Yeah, I'd have to agree with that. There are a couple lines and scenes that just seemed a little too on the nose. There are better ways to subtly show just how wonderful women are without also discrediting all men. So what did you think of the characters? Uh, I thought they were kind of bland, honestly, most of them, all except for one, who I'll get into in a little bit. But what do you think? The characters, I thought the characters themselves were fine. I don't think any of them were given good writing at all. Yeah, no, they, the writing wasn't that great. It was very, I don't want to say very film school, but it was very by the books, very basic. Nothing was really that bad, but there was... There wasn't any really great dialogue or anything. And again, I, I didn't really like the characters. I thought they were all given different personalities, but I just didn't think they gelled well together. They just didn't really click. And honestly, the only person I really enjoyed watching was Christian Stewart. She was hilarious, she was super fun to watch, and you could tell that she also had a blast making the film. Oh yeah, if you are a Christian Stewart fan, definitely go see this film. You'll you'll probably like it more than we did. <laughs> yeah, and again, she, Kristen Stewart, to me, is known for kind of giving a more subdued performance. But this one, like, like I said, she's very eccentric. She's very out there. She's very outspoken. And it's kind of a nice change of pace from what we normally see her as. And it's a nice change of pace from all the other characters. Yeah, and also, Ella Belinska didn't give a, that great of a performance. There's one scene where she's supposed to show a lot of emotion, even breaking down in tears. It honestly was super fake, and you could tell that she was clearly acting. And Naomi Scott was slightly better, but not by much. She gave a passable performance, but it wasn't anything spectacular. Personally, I thought kind of the opposite. I thought Ella Belinska was much better than Naomi Scott, who in almost every scene she was in, I was like, oh gosh, not her again. Honestly, there wasn't really that much of a reason for Naomi Scott to be in the movie. It made sense kind of at the beginning to as the plot kicked off, but around halfway through the movie, they probably should have just kind of let her stay home or stay in the sidelines. There was really no need, reason for her to be up front. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Good addition there. Uh, also, uh, what do you think of the action? I actually thought it was pretty good. Um, I'm not good with anything too violent, and there. Well, I don't remember too many scenes in this movie where I was super grossed out or. There's the one thing at the end. Uh, I I that, close my eyes for it. Yeah, that it's part. It's pretty obvious. Yeah, it's obvious, and you see it coming. And while the action is well shot and, you know, you can see everything that's happening, it's nothing new. It's, it seems very basic choreography and 
there's nothing that inventive about it. And I'm not saying every new action film has to reinvent the wheel, so to speak, but it should bring something new or at least have enough variety in it. I thought most of this was either hand-to-hand -hand combat or gun battles, but yeah. Not to spoil anything, but there is a really cool car chase where a car becomes a machine gun in a way. Yeah, it, it's pretty cool. If you've seen Captain America: Winter Soldier, it's kind of like that. If don't want again, don't want to give it away, but that's that part was kind of cool. But again, I wish they'd seen more of it. It was a fairly short action scene, and I feel like there's a lot more time spent with the characters talking, but they weren't really talking about anything interesting. So. I just felt bored throughout a lot of the thing. Yeah. Throughout a lot of the film. And then at the end, they go through this pretty cool action scene with like multiple different phases of it. And then they just end the movie right after that with like a weird cliche line and a weird romantic moment. <laughs> there was a weird romantic subplot that did not need to be in this film that honestly just seemed superfluous and just unnecessary and then honestly that well and then it, the film ended on a like you said a very cliched line and not that all and not at all an interesting shot and i think an ending shot says a lot about the film and this one was just very underwhelming i will say there is a montage during the credits of the angels like training especially naomi scott and that, I thought, was featured heavily in the trailer, so I thought that was going to be a part of the actual film, and then just have it tacked on at the end felt very lazy to me. And if the whole movie had kind of had, had the vibe of the end little montage, it would have been such a better movie. That was probably the most fun part of the movie, and it was in the last, like, it was in the end credits. It was during, yeah, yeah, it was during the end credits. Sometimes people will get up the second they see directed by so-and-so, and they'll start to leave, and probably there's people that didn't even see that. There's also this really weird choreographed dance number, like, some, <laughs> in the middle of the climax, that I guess has an explanation why all these people at this random party know this choreographed dance. But if that's the explanation, and I don't want to give, a, give it away because it's a slight spoiler, but if that explanation is true, then that's the stupidest explanation and doesn't make any sense and doesn't go along with the plot at all. Yeah, it was a weird dance thing that was happening. I don't... There were moments like that throughout the movie where you were just like, wait, what are we doing now? J just a slight awkward silence from the audience. Yeah. Uh, I felt a lot, and... And if, if you've ever been to a movie with Derek, you'll understand, but he was occasionally in his seat, like, throwing up his hands, like, what are you doing, movie? <laughs> I'm a very, very physical uh, movie watcher. <laughs> I try, I stay quiet. I, I stay generally quiet. I don't like to disrupt people, but I will, like, shake my hands, like, why are you doing that? This is so stupid. And I did that a lot through this movie, which is probably a good indication of how the movie is. So... In the end, I think Charlie's Angels is kind of just a sloppy mess with some good parts, but overall, I didn't find much enjoyment in it, and I'd much rather see something else. Yeah, probably. I mean, it'd be a good movie to just sit at home and kind of be distracted while you're watching it and tune in and out of, but other than that, no, it's dunk. Don't go see it in a movie theater. Also, I was kind of also, also I was expecting a cameo or just an appearance by either Cameron Diaz or Lucy Liu or um, who's the last one from? Come on! Oh no, come on! You got to see Drew Barrymore. Drew Barrymore. Thank you. I couldn't remember Drew Barrymore. But no, they didn't come in. I think there might have been a cameo from one of the original Angels in the uh, early TV show, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. Uh, Laverne Cox made an appearance, a cam quick cameo in there. Near yeah, the Ronda Rousey had a cameo. Uh, Haley Steinfeld. It's it was it, yeah. It was really weird, but like I said, not the best film in the world, and I would give it an F letter grade. I would give it a D, just because it was fun watching Kristen Stewart have fun making a movie. Basically, she was fun. Um, and so those are our thoughts on the film. Let me know your thoughts on the film as well as your thoughts on the drawing in the comment section down below. 
And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And hit that bell notification icon to be notified anytime I put up a new review. Thanks everyone and have a great day. Bye.